from Morocco to India. He is also simultaneously accredited to Bhutan, Maldives, Sri Lanka. Uh, Excellency, are you around? Excellency Mohammed Maliki, are you around? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. Welcome to you, sir. Uh, Thank you. So, you know, in the interest of time management, you know, I now looking back, I should have made panels, you know, probably this could have gone for an entire day with such a splendid cast of uh, experts and diplomats. But let me just uh, turn to you. And uh, 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 Excellency, my question to you is, from what one reads, uh, there is uh, North Africa region is among the most severely affected uh, and Morocco, uh, I mean, how are you facing, uh, why, why is the region, the, especially the North Africa region, the Arab Africa region, uh, more uh, affected by the pandemic? How is Morocco handling it? And looking ahead, you know, in terms of the India-Africa agenda, I want you to focus on just one issue, which is uh, one item, pair of cooperation, where Morocco has undoubted strengths, you know, renewable energy, for example, or you may have uh, other areas to speak of. My request to you would be, please be precise so that we can get questions from the audience. You have five to seven minutes, sir. After that, I will put this bell uh, and, uh, you know, I would really appreciate if you can uh, finish your presentation in a lot of time. Over to you, sir. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon to everybody and uh, let me uh, thank you their chant for this initiative in celebrating the Africa Day, which unfortunately we don't have the choice but to make it virtually. I still am quite happy that uh, you have the initiative of celebrating it. And uh, I wouldn't uh, move without wishing my uh, Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Eid, uh, both in India and then worldwide, and to wish you all the best of health and then prosperity. I won't miss this opportunity also without congratulating uh, His Excellency Mr. Rahul Chabra for the, his appointment as the Secretary of Economic Relations. And I am looking, sir, to working with you very closely very soon, as we used to have a great friend like Tiramati. Let me start by the first question when you said that the North African countries have been a little bit more affected than the others. And it is quite natural because they are the closest countries to the epicenters like Spain, Italy, France, and all the others. So the, the huge diaspora, which exists from Morocco and from these countries, in, the, in, the, in these countries, have differently brought some of the cases. And then the, the, the pandemic has been also uh, watched developing steadily. But I believe that uh, great nations throughout history have always turned challenges into opportunities. And then for that uh, reason, probably because you asked me a direct question, I would like to tell that uh, when this COVID-19 broke, the Morocco has to taken very steadily and then serious steps to, to counter it and to minimize the effects on the population by closing the, the borders, both maritime and then airline, where we were the first, almost among the first countries to impose masks. And then at the same time, when we started by this pandemic, Morocco used to produce a few thousands of masks. And then uh, because we knew that the challenge would be to get these uh, medical equipment as soon as possible, then the government, through a COVID uh, uh, fund which created and then which was able to get more than uh, $3.5 billion in few few days from all parts, we were able to readapt some of the industries. And then now we are producing something like 10 million masks a day which is a huge number, and then sufficiently supplying all the parts of Morocco, and then also <coughs> exporting it. Also in, come in terms of, uh, of other equipments, we were able to create our own, what you would say, the 
the, the uh, ventilator, which is 100% made in Morocco because of the, the bench. So the necessity sometimes is the mother field bench. That's why I want all of us from Africa and from India to see the pandemic, not only to create or say probably negative things, but to look at it as, uh, you can hear me? Hello? Yes, I, we can hear. Can, can you hear? Uh, yes. We can hear you. Uh, because I didn't see anybody from the, from the, from the, from the screen. <laughs> we can hear you. <clears throat> Thank you. So I want to, all of us to see the, this, this pandemic as a huge opportunity. A huge opportunity for us to rethink cooperation. And I believe it is quite important not to look always into Africa by bringing and thinking of bringing assistance and aid, but rather to think of co-development. And when I say co-development, it means it's a win-win situation, it's win-win uh, partnerships where both parties can benefit. And uh, I think this, this pandemic has also shown to the world that vulnerability doesn't sometimes, uh, is not specific to some countries, like African countries or Asian countries. On the contrary, I think African countries have so far and that would are more resilient than other countries. But it showed that there is, should be a rethinking of the whole of the uh, cooperation worldwide. And I'm quite happy that my South African friend uh, has mentioned it. Yes, priorities are there, but we need to rethink them and then look at things differently. And then I think this pandemic has come into a timely moment in the sense that it is at the eve of the fourth India-Africa summit. So probably to me, this pandemic has shown at least four things to the whole world. And then of course, including to Africans. The first one, that scientific research is not a luxury to any country, but it is a survival. Second thing, that having a sound health system at home remains the most, and that's most, and that's most necessity, which becomes less costly and represents an assurance for our future generations. We need to have trust into our systems by development. Third one, education is the backbone of all what we are doing now. And I think to achieve all these uh, uh, objectives, re education remains the, the only way to do it. Then I believe, it is a personal belief, that India and Africa need to involve all their means and resources to succeed in these hard times. And then here I would like to open uh, brackets and then when people say rightly that India is the pharmacy of the world, I also confirm and from this panel I would like to express our sincere thanks for the Indian high authorities who have allowed and permitted exports on a purchase basis but permit exports to Morocco of some of the medications. So I want this pandemic to work for us and then to redefine priorities. All these priorities exist in the India Africa Forum. But I want them to take the most part of it because it is the future. It is on equal basis. India and Africans have, don't, don't like brains. In fact, most of the institutes worldwide are known to be uh, having brilliant minds from our countries. And then the last example, but not the least, is when Trump appointed the Moroccan national, Mr. Monsif, to chair or co-chair this committee to find a vaccine. Uh, in the United States. So we don't need, we don't lack all these elements. We just need to create uh, additional uh, uh, conditions for these workers and researchers to work. Last but not least, I think this, if India is able, because it has a very emotional and historical charges with Africa, and then it is a very serious assets for it, that if we manage to have this qualitative jump in our relations and the look into these priorities onto equality level. And then let me say that Morocco has always said through the highest authority, His Majesty, that you see Africans need to rely on themselves to develop 
but they need also serious partners. And I think when we talked about seriousness, India stands and has a premium place, honestly, because of this historical and then emotional charges. And then because I see that the, the time is exactly eight minutes for me, so I want to stick and then I'm quite happy to receive some questions. Thank you so much.